And we can get more on the government's plans to increase fines handed out to drivers who break the law now. The motoring expert Quentin Wilson standing by to talk to us. He's by a very noisy M40 in Warwickshire. Good morning to you. What do you make of this then? Is it a good idea? Will this be enough to put people off, do you think? It's wholly inappropriate, given that the motorways are the safest roads in, in Europe, and also speeds on motorways have been declining. It's good to make a, a, a no ceiling on the fine that people can be levied for driving without insurance, but this is going to stop anybody who gets allegedly stopped for speeding on a motorway of ever challenging that. And we know the equipment doesn't always work, but they're not going to go to court and say, I'm going to challenge this because they face a £10,000 fine. And you can have a van on this bridge that will earn £100,000 in fine revenue in 10 minutes. And that's completely wrong. But look, what's the answer then? Because the increase in fines isn't just for speeding, it's for people using mobile phones as well. That's been against the law now for some time, and yet we consistently see people flouting that. So what can be done about it? That's very good, and I, I would absolutely agree that raising fines for mobile phone and uninsured driving is, is completely correct. But doing it for someone who is going through a set of roadworks at 3 o'clock in the morning who gets flashed and then faces a £10,000 fine is ridiculous. The answer to all this, quite simply, is to have more police cars on our roads. But the government doesn't want to do that because it's far too expensive. So what they're trying to do is to terrify us into submission. I would think electorally, with 32 million licence holders in this country, this isn't a good plan and it does need to be rethought. And there's a lot of scepticism behind the motivation of this. People saying that it's just a, a money-making scheme by the government. I think it's worse than that. It's not a money-making scheme. It shows that in some cases they don't know what they're doing. And when it comes to cars, roads, fuel duty, all these sort of things, they really are not in control and they're not being advised properly. If I was an advisor to a minister, I would say this is political suicide. A £10,000 for speeding, just like a £4,000 for evading your television licence. These things need to be rethought very carefully.